You've probably clicked on this video if you're trying to decide what university to go to or you've got an offer from Loughborough and want to find out a bit more about the university. At this moment in time, you've probably got quite a few questions and not really sure what the whole university scene is all about. So that's why I've got you covered in today's video. I'm going to be going through a complete guide and honest review of Loughborough University for 2021. This video is going to be split into five sections. Number one is going to be reputation and facilities. Number two is going to be academics and graduate jobs. Number three is going to be accommodation. Number four is going to be freshers and nightlife. And then at number five is going to be societies, sports and part-time jobs. So with that being said, let's start off with number one, Loughborough University's reputation and facilities. Loughborough University is located in the small town of Loughborough, which is in Leicestershire in the Eastern Midlands. Loughborough's campus is set on 440 acres and offers lots of green open spaces and is also home to the country's largest concentration of world-class sporting facilities which are immersed within the different academic buildings and state-of-the-art facilities on campus. Since being established in 1909, Loughborough University has built up a very good reputation, which has increased notably in more recent years. Loughborough University has been awarded with the University of the Year for 2020 by the What Uni Student Choice Awards, Best for Uni Facilities and Societies and Sports by the What Uni Student Choice Awards 2020, First place in the Student Experience Survey for 2017 to 2018, Uni of the Year in the Good University Guide 2019, Best University in the World for Sports Related Subjects in the QS World Rankings for the last four years, Gold for Teaching Excellence Framework, and Top 10 in every UK National League table. It's worth mentioning in this section that it's sometimes been commented on that Loughborough University isn't a Russell Group University. So let's look at what a Russell Group University actually is and if that actually makes a difference to your decision. A Russell Group University is simply classified by the Uni Guide as a catch-all term for a group of universities with a shared focus on research and a reputation for academic achievement. The group includes the original six red brick universities with its member universities usually spotted near the top of the university league tables. So does that mean there are universities that aren't Russell Group but can still be very good universities? Well, yes, of course that's the case and Loughborough is undoubtedly one of them again supported by the fact that you'll find Loughborough in the top 10 of every UK National League table. Moving on to the facilities, the elite facilities on campus are constantly being invested in and expanded upon, which is shown by the fact that over the last 10 years, £350 million has been invested into the facilities on campus. Alongside the specialist facilities for each school, also there is Pilkington Library on campus which has four levels to it and is open 24-7 during the exam season. Alongside the bookable booths and rooms on offer at the library, also, each school is assigned with an academic librarian who you can get in contact with for advice and guidance on an array of different skills. So for example, if you need information and help on referencing or conducting a literature review or any other areas which encompass all of the different skill sessions on offer, then you can get in touch with your academic librarian. And from my experience, this has been a really useful point of call. So overall, you can see that Loughborough University is an excellent university with very good facilities and an extremely good reputation that continues to improve year on year. Moving on to academics. The academic year is split into two semesters. Semester one runs from October through to January and semester two runs from February all the way through to June. And at the end of each semester, you have your exams for the modules taken within that semester. Undergraduate students take modules with a total weighting of 120 credits for the academic year. So within that, each module is typically worth either 10, 20 or 30 credits. And it's the combination of all those modules that adds up to 120. In terms of the mode of delivery for this year, the university aims to deliver a hybrid approach. For my course of circumstances, in semester one, I had one module which was delivered with in-person lectures once a week and all of my other modules were delivered online. And then going over to semester two, most of this was delivered online. I think it was roughly the last week or two where we could have gone in for in-person lectures. But unfortunately, due to the current circumstances that we find ourselves in, this was very much restricted to online content for semester two. With the online delivery, I can say that honestly, on the whole, the lecturers actually did a really good job. In terms of the online mode of delivery, during semester one, most of the content was provided through on-demand lectures, which meant you go and watch them whenever it suited you. I personally wasn't actually the biggest fan of these, just because it felt like the interaction was a bit restricted. However, in semester two, the online mode of delivery shifted to mainly online live lectures, which I honestly was much bigger a fan of. And also it meant that you could interact with your lecturers and also your peers during live time. And it just made the content a lot more engaging. Whilst I remember all of the lectures, whether they be online or in person like normal times, 
they're always recorded, which is extremely beneficial for you to go back, recap and review any content you might have missed during the lecture. And alongside lectures, content was also delivered through practical sessions where we'd be in smaller groups working on specific features of our course, as well as also optional dropping sessions where you could go in, ask questions on specific areas of the lecture and they would go through and run through those. And on top of this, there's also the Learn Forums, which is essentially a place where you can go and submit any questions you have for your lecturers and they'll respond in due course. As well as this, further support for you during your degree is really easy to come by at Loughborough, as firstly, everyone on campus is really approachable and kind and will help you out whenever they can. Also, on top of this, you're also assigned a personal tutor where you can go to with any queries and questions. Also, like I mentioned, you've got the academic librarians. And on top of this, certain courses are assigned a peer mentor to every single student at the start of the academic year. As well as this, there is the online learn platform, which you'll be given access to upon your arrival at Loughborough. And on here, you can find practicals and workshops, which provide even more information for you to help you out with anything you need. Moving on to graduate jobs. Loughborough University ranks in the top 10 for graduate prospects in the Guardian University Guide 2020, the Times University Guide 2020, and the Complete University Guide 2021. Every undergraduate course at Loughborough offers a chance to do a placement. This is a great opportunity for you to go out and get some work experience, engage in some new networks and connections, and also have the chance to gain additional qualification in the form of a diploma. All of these things can be really useful in helping you secure your first job after graduating from university, and also, if you don't want to do a placement, then you can always go and do a summer internship. Also at Loughborough, the university hosts and promotes a variety of careers events throughout the year. And you can get in touch with the Careers Network at Loughborough for any advice and guidance, whether it be on employment or placement information. Next up is accommodation. Loughborough University has 16 halls of residence in and around campus. And also, if you decide not to stay on campus, there is further accommodation available in town. Halls of residence are split into two broad categories catered and self-catered. Also within most halls, there is a selection of accommodation packages available. So for example, if you want shared bathroom facilities or you want your own personal ensuite, if you want a regular bed or if you want a four foot bed. For the only complete guide and honest review of every single accommodation on campus from students who have lived in every single accommodation, be sure to subscribe to the channel as this is going to be the next video released. In this video though, I'll quickly cover my first year experience in halls. So I spent my first year at Loughborough in Royce Hall, which is a catered hall located in the student village. And the accommodation package that I chose was four foot bed and ensuite. And the price for the year was 7,638 pounds and 34 pence. At Royce, we were catered for five days a week, three meals a day. And the only accommodation package which is catered for seven days a week is over at Towers. Firstly, when it comes to the food, I can feed back that this is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. There's a wide variety of different meal options available and also you can either eat in or take away. And if you have any specific allergies, then just inform the chefs and they will be sure to provide you with a suitable alternative. Also, I actually really enjoyed being catered only five days a week as opposed to seven because it meant that on the weekends when you had a bit more time, you had a bit of independence to cook for yourselves. When I moved in, there was one or two small issues with my room. However, these were fixed immediately by the maintenance team. And after that, I had no further issues with my room. If I was being really picky, the only area of improvement would be the laundry room, as sometimes the washing machines could be a little bit of a liability. However, going back to the positives, the location on campus was perfect for me to access pretty much everything on campus within a short walk. And if I ever did need to use it, then there's the free campus shuttle bus, which runs from Monday through to Saturday every 10 minutes during term time. Also, it's worth mentioning that this year, due to the code restrictions, Loughborough offered full rebates for any students who are instructed not to return back to campus, which really highlights the positive nature of the university. Overall, I was really happy with my first year experience in Royce. The best bit about living in Royce was definitely the people I got the chance to meet, as honestly, during my time, I met so many amazing and incredible people. And also within my own household, we honestly gelled so well and I think that I've honestly made some friends for life as we all got along really, really well and helped each other out, especially during this time. And even then, we still managed to have a great time. I would strongly recommend going into halls for first year as this is really all part of the freshers experience, which leads us into section four of the video, freshers and nightlife. Now, obviously, before I start this section, bear in mind that freshers and nightlife was a lot different this year. Just take everything I say with a pinch of salt. So the first week of freshers is just where this first year is on campus. There's no lectures and it's purely designed for you to get used to uni surroundings, meet new people and honestly just have a great time. The second week of freshers is when returners, so the second and third years are also back on campus and you have your lectures starting 
but most of the time, this is just an introduction to the module. Now, despite freshers obviously being very different this year to the usual, I would overall say it was actually pretty good considering the circumstances, and it's definitely a lot better than I've seen a couple of my other mates at different universities experience, as some of them honestly had no freshers at all. At Loughborough, to comply with the restrictions, we had more of an adapted style of freshers, so we were able to do a couple of events, so things like silent discos, themed nights, and a couple of online events. Also, the student union created the socially distanced social club to run in the evenings throughout the year, and this featured different theme nights and a place you could go out and hang out with your mates in the evenings, so this was pretty good as well. Although by no means am I a party animal or anything like that, I can tell you that the Loughborough nightlife is actually very decent, and there's more than enough activities for you to do either within Loughborough or just outside. Normally within the student union, there is three different nightclubs, and also there's loads of insane events and activities and guest performers coming in to perform at Loughborough all throughout the year. Also within town, you've got a further three nightclubs, which are Echoes, Revs and Firefly. And also if you want something even more livelier, then you can always head to somewhere like Nottingham, which is a really short train journey away, if that's a bit more like you see. In one of my previous videos, I've covered 10 things to do in Loughborough for students. So if you want some further ideas, I strongly recommend after watching this video, to go and check that one out. To give you an idea of what Freshers normally involves, last year at Freshers Ball, some of the guest performers included the likes of Becky Hill, Raksu and also Sigma, and at Graduation Ball, for those who are graduating, this was headlined by Craig David. Also during Freshers, there's loads of theme parties, the Colour Dash, the Sports and Activities Bazaar, Hall Activities, and loads of other events every day for the whole two weeks. Hopefully things will go ahead as it normally has in previous years for your freshers, as honestly it looks and sounds unbelievable from what I've seen and heard. So for our fifth and final section of the video, we're going to be starting off by talking all about societies. At Loughborough, there's over 100 societies that have been created to accommodate for all students. And if there's still nothing there that takes your fancy, then you have the complete control to set up your own society. Also, there's further opportunities to get involved through the different sections of the student union. This includes LSU Action, which is the volunteering section, Enterprise, which is the ideas section, Media, which is the creative section, Welfare and Diversity, which encompasses all students during the university experience, and RAG, which is the fundraising section. Through LSU's RAG department, I'll be spending two weeks in Chiang Mai, Thailand in July 2022, volunteering for one week in a disadvantaged hill tribe and the second week in an elephant nature park sanctuary caring for and rehabilitating the elephants that have been rescued. Moving on to the sport side of things, the opportunity to carry on playing sport at the highest level possible while still getting a degree at a top 10 academic institution was a bigger pill for me behind joining Loughborough University. There are three main levels of sport at Loughborough University to cater for all abilities. These are AU, IMS and My Lifestyle. Bucks stands for the British Universities and Colleges Sport and Loughborough University are the Bucks champions for the last 40 years. AU stands for the Athletic Union and this is where you get the chance to represent Loughborough University in the Bucks Championships. This year I've been fortunate enough to play for the AU Futsal Club and competition for places is very intense as trials are always held at the beginning of the academic year. There are over 55 AU clubs at Loughborough University, all of them utilising the world-class facilities to train and compete in on a daily basis. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box below for more information alongside all the other relevant information that I've mentioned within today's video. The next level of sport is IMS, which is where you represent your halls of residence in over 30 different types of sport throughout the academic year competing against the other halls of residence. This is the largest student hall-led sport programme in the whole of the UK and offers a range of different events, whether it be one-day events or league set up throughout the whole year for you to enjoy and have a great time experiencing. The final level of sport at Loughborough is My Lifestyle, which offers free, fun and non-competitive sport that requires no commitment for all to enjoy. With over 30 free sessions a week, which you can book through the Loughborough Sport app, these include everything from badminton and boot camp to yoga and gymnastics, as well as different mass participation events throughout the year, including UV Dodgeball and a Beach Fest. Also, there is the Coaching and Volunteering Academy available to students, where you can access high quality and meaningful sports volunteering experiences, alongside qualifications in coaching, volunteering and leadership. Also, there is parasport available, so that all can have the opportunity to be involved in sport at Loughborough University. There's a range of world-class facilities on campus. Some you have to pre-book in advance, and others you can simply turn up and play at for free. These include the ballpark, beach park that was used for the beach volleyball at London 2012 Olympics, games park, paddock park 
an active park. From my experience, particularly during freshers, the ability to go down to the games park this year with all the restrictions otherwise in place was a really good opportunity to still stick to the guidelines whilst having a chance to meet people and have a good time. When it comes to the gyms, there are two gyms on campus. These are Powerbase and Hollywell. And also there are gyms available in town if that's what you prefer. So for example, Pure Gym is the main one that springs to mind. Both of the gyms on campus are incredible elite facilities and if you get a membership for one year, then you receive a discount for the next year. By purchasing a gym membership at either Hollywell or Powerbase, this also enables you free access into the Olympic swimming pool at Loughborough and also a variety of other benefits. When deciding which membership to purchase, it's worth noting that each gym is the opposite sides of the campus. Also, if you're an elite athlete or you're more intensely into the gym, then you might be more inclined to go to Powerbase. And if you're less so inclined or that doesn't maybe apply to you, then you might feel like you're better suited to Hollywell. Ultimately, I would say it really depends on what you want to get out of the gym as both gyms specialize in different areas. Powerbase more for the heavy lifting side of things, whereas Hollywell is more for the overall fitness side of things, I would say. Finally, when it comes to part-time work, some students decide to work part-time to support their living and course costs. At Loughborough, there's a variety of different part-time work opportunities available on campus. Firstly, there's a variety of different roles available in the student union, whether it be waitering, bar staff, or security. Also, campus living provide many roles within hospitality. And the opportunity that I believe is the most rewarding is becoming a student ambassador for the university. This year, I've been fortunate enough to become a student ambassador at Loughborough. And I can honestly tell you that it's such an enjoyable role and the rate of pay is actually really good at £9.99 per hour. If you want to learn more about how to become a student ambassador, as well as what the role involves, then be sure to check out the video on my channel that already covers this. So that's my review and complete guide of Loughborough University for 2021. If you have any queries, questions or suggestions, be sure to let me know in the comments down below, as I love hearing back from all of you. If you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on to be notified when the next video comes out. That's all from me. Thanks again for watching and I wish all of you the very best.